ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग होप होप आई एम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल इनफ टू एवरी वन यस यस ओके सो नाउ दिस ट्रेनिंग इज फॉर व्हाट सॉक एनालिस्ट राइट सॉक सॉक मींस व्हाट डू मीन बाय सॉक सिक्योरिटी ऑपरेशन सेंटर सिक्योरिटी ऑपरेशन सेंटर एसओसी राइट सिक्योरिटी ऑपरेशन ऑपरेशन सेंटर सिक्योरिटी ऑपरेशन सेंटर सेंटर मींस सेंट्रलाइज्ड राइट ऑपरेशंस व्हिच take care of operation security operation center right let's say let's say it's a company it's your company it is a company right in your physical company i'm talking about not not uh, on the digital network you will have one department centralized department let's say you have multiple branches of your company you have in branch in us uk canada you have in india right so we'll have a centralized department in any of uh, the branch may any of the uh, uh, geographical location you may have right that department we call as soc security operation center right so that department will be a central location which take care of security of your entire company what is going out so you can see you will have various devices inside your network right mostly you see you keep your data on the server side right? <clears throat> one moment who is calling right now just pull down i get a call just hold on one moment i get a call from my home i hold on one moment Just give me one minute. Huh? I'm just I just get I just got emergency call from my home. Just hold down.
sorry guys i got a call from my home so what i was saying security operation center is a centralized department for any company if you have uh, uh, multiple offices in a company right it may be possible that you have uh, branches you have uh, offices in the us uk uh, india right so soc will be a centralized department that the region we call as security security operations center center means centralized operations means day to day activities operational work right means day to day activities and security right security related what activity it is related to security that's the reason this department we call as security operations center understand security operation center now what the security operation center does so security operation center keep an eye keeps an eye across all the network whatever activities happening across the network that means uh, you know what traffic coming inside your company going outside right uh, what kind of activities happening across your network servers your database right what traffic is coming inside what traffic is going outside any kind of malicious activities are happening right so these teams will keep an eye if any kind of abnormal activities are happening any kind of unusual activities are happening any unusual means maybe some cyber attacks yes or no unusual means at the end maybe kind of attack right malware machine infected prone to be infected right so these any kind of suspicious malicious abnormal unusuals those activities are being monitored by the soc team 24 by 7 so these team will be using some tools to monitor those activities important tools such as sim one of the important tools are is sim they will be using tools such as sim edr that we are going to cover here right so using this tool so if you see if you search in google also sock analyst you see sock analyst is one person and in front of him he is having multiple computers right so he is having multiple tools and having multiple uh, you know multiple dashboard in front of him so he is monitoring the trend and visualize graph if anything is unusual found something is abnormal found so he monitor and he investigate right so he is having multiple computer where he see any kind of abnormal unusual activities yes or no so various tool he is using the main tool of the sock is sim now in next generation sock you will see the adr as well right the so sock department will be using some sort some sort of tools to monitor these network related activities what is coming inside what is going inside what kind of activities your internal users are doing what data they are sending what data they are receiving how they are communicating right all security posture across the network will be monitored by the SOC team in case of malicious activity observed by the SOC team using those tools they will be investigating analyzing right and they will be taking action or they may assign the case sometime to respective team for further action sometime action may not be on their hand so they may be assigning the action to respective team for further action understand so secure sometime so security teams is the this is the part of defensive security right so security team is responsible to ensure that they monitor all the security posture across your network right so that i mean uh, so they ensure that they ensure that uh, the uh, in case of malicious activity happening they ensure that they ensure that i mean the impact in case of any attack happens they, they ensure that the impact of the compromise also should be minimal see first of all they ensure that before the compromise happens some kind of symptoms right they ensure that they will block it right but sometime it is possible that maybe they are not able to detect it sometime compromise will happen for example malware has been delivered some machine is, one machine is infected so they will ensure that the impact of the compromise should be minimal. If security team is there, they will come to know, okay, machine is infected. So how many users have received the malware? So they can do the further investigation and they will ensure that the compromise, impact of the compromise also should be minimal. 
So one, one uh, you know, user has opened the malware, machine infected, they will investigate further, okay, how the malware has reached to the network, right? Uh, for example, through emails. Machine infected, they will come to know how many users have received the email. Before the user open the email and machine get infected, they will isolate the machine or they will delete the email so that further infection should not happen, right? So that is the advantage of having SOC team. First of all, compromise should not happen because they are, these teams are monitored in 2007 for any kind of malicious activity. So they are defending the attack. And in case compromise happen because of that zero day attack, so they ensure that the impact of the compromise should be minimal. Yes or no? Because once the attack will happen or some compromise will happen, they will come to know and they will find out the source of the compromise so that they can, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> before certain more computer gets compromised, they will take the action and uh, in the respective measures, they will take so that other users would not open the email, for example, right? So that is the work of the SOC team. So SOC team is a centralized department of the any company and they use certain tool to monitor the whole infrastructure across the company, across the network, or the whole security posture. Get a point? Do you see any latency in my voice? Audio and video, any latency? No. No, no, sir. Everything is fine. Right. No. no, sir. Not really. No, sir. Everything is fine. I have a question. Yes. Yeah. Some companies have NOC, Network Operation Center. Someone has SOC, Security Operation Center. What's the difference between these two, SOC and NOC? Network Operation Center is mostly, see, Network Operation Center is mostly infrastructure monitoring team. NOC. See, there are two things called as NOC and SOC, right? NOC is mostly the part of infrastructure monitoring team. Infrastructure monitoring team means they will be responsible to monitor the performance parameter resources of the infrastructure, such as memory utilization, CPU utilization, uh, hard disk utilization, right? In case of many machine is down, they will generate an alert, reach out to the respective team, right? That is what the NOC team does. While SOC team monitor the infrastructure network because uh, you know based on the security parameters from cyber security perspective. Get a point? That sir, is NOC, sir, NOC means network operation center, no, sir. Network operation center, right? So NOC team will be clubbed with the with the infrastructure team. So NOC team generally will monitor the infrastructure as well. NOC team generally the network team, depending on the company who will be taking sir, care of one moment. NOC team is generally the network team who will be taking the routing and switching, changes on the router, changes on the switches, as I have not explained you right now, changes in the router and switches. But if you talk about the monitoring perspective, they'll be monitoring the infrastructure. The whole servers you have, right, various devices, they'll be monitoring the, you know, uh, the performance in case of any uh, resources, high utilization, they will be sending the alert to the respective team so that before any problem happen, they can update the resources. That means they do not monitor it from security perspective. Understand? While security perspective alerts are being managed and monitored by the SOC team. So basically, NOC, the network researcher work there, and then SOC, the uh, cyber security professors work there. Is that right? right. Something like that? Right. SOC is from security. The name itself suggests security operation center means from SOC perspective. Understand? So SOC is the centralized department of any company which monitors the network security posture 24 by 7. What activity is happening across the network? What is coming inside? What is going in outside? are being monitored 24 by 7 by the SOC team. In case of any malicious activity observed, abnormal activity observed, unusual activities observed, they will do, they will analyze it, investigate it, and they will, they may take the action or they may respond to the incident and assign to the respective team for further action. For example, they may observe a traffic is going toward the suspicious IP from inside to outside, right? As per the investigation, as per the action, the IP address should be blocked on the firewall, right? And 
but they don't have access to the firewall. So they will assign the incident to the firewall team to block the IP address. As of now, you don't know the firewall, but I'm just telling you right now, in the later session, you understand what is firewall, right? So in this case, the firewall is not under the ownership of SOC team. So they will be assigning the incident to the firewall team. Understand? So that is the work of SOC team. The SOC team will be using the various tools such as SIM and EDR and some other tool. So these are the main tools of the SOC team, uh, which SOC team uses to monitor the network 24 by 7, right? So these tools will generate the alerts. We can configure various alerts, right? So uh, whenever any kind of activity will happen, these tools will generate the alerts. So those alerts you can monitor 24 by 7. Any kind of malicious activity happen, it will generate the alert. So you understand SOC team monitor the network, right? You understand network means uh, two or more computer, right? How two or more computer communicate with each other, right? The co connection between two or more computer is called as network, right? When two or more computers are connected with each other, they form the network. Understand? In the company, you have many computers connected with each other, right? That's the reason we call as network. Understand? So, talk team actually secure the network, right? And in the network, you have data, you have various servers and application where you have data. <laughs> actually, finally, we have to secure the data only. Yes or no? The data we have in the servers, we have the storage, we have the database where the actual data is being stored. Get in mind? So actually, the finally, we have to actually secure the data only. But, but you know, uh, you know what? Uh, so this is the physical uh, diagram I have explained to you for now, uh, how the SOC team look like. It's a physical department of any company. For example, you can see you have a computer, right? You will have several computers inside your company. Everybody is on the same page, right? Understanding what I was explaining you till now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, anybody, sir. any question, if anybody is having any question in between, you are free to ask when I take the pause, okay? For example, you, have, you understand whenever you access the Facebook, right? You create a profile, you upload your photos, right? You... Uh, 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 enter your details such as your job detail, your uh, your date of birth and everything. Where it is being stored? You understand? Uh, Facebook is hosted on the server. Maybe it is a Windows server or you know uh, <clears throat> your uh, uh, Linux server operating system, right? So you have a server, right? On the server on which your Facebook application has been stored. And Facebook application, there might be, uh, there will be a backend database on which all the information are being stored. Yes or no? That means on the server, everything is being stored. Yes or no? So in the companies, uh, you may have several different applications. Yes or no? All the applications are, uh, are hosted on the various servers. And you have various databases also where database is stored. Understand? Database, uh, your data is stored. On the database, you have a storage where... Uh, data is stored. Yes or no? So at the end, all your network and security, right? So you can see, you can see now, you, you can see, for example, this is one of the app, uh, uh, application that you want to deploy. So you have to set up a server, right? One device. Server is nothing. You can see your laptop, right? Your laptop is a machine, right? Digital machine. Your laptop. Yes. Laptop is one of the device, right? But laptop desktop, <clears throat> laptop desktop, we call as workstation. Laptop desktop is not a server. 
is a workstation has been designed in such a way that if for normal function, normal work, normal work means generally for company related work or normal work, that means it has not been designed to run 24 by 7. <clears throat> it has been designed, the hardware like RAM, motherboard, your uh, CPU has been, you know, has been designed, has been added in, by considering that you are not going to run uh, that laptop 24 by 7, 365 days, right? And you are not going to install heavy software, considering that in mind. So it's light resources have been applied, but you see Facebook application is being installed. So can you install Facebook application on the your laptop and make it live run 24 by seven? Can you make your laptop uh, up 24 by seven, 365 days? No, right? It will get burned in some, in few days. And can uh, thousands of people log in in your laptop at the same time? No, they cannot because your laptop does not have that much of resources, right? Laptop, your home PC, workstation, designed to use by one person only, right? That is how your server differ from your workstation. Otherwise, uh, you know, it is similar. Uh, this, this workstation and server is similar. The difference between workstation and lab, uh, server is the hardware and their operating system. The in server hardware and operating system has been designed in such a way so that it can run 24 by 7 and you can install an application to run 24 by 7 and can be used by thousands of people, lakhs of people at the same time. That's the only difference. Uh, uh, my video is there on the YouTube. What is server operating system and workstation in detail? So that is the homework for you. What is workstation and what is server? What is for detail? There is a 30 minute video, I think. What is server and uh, what sir, is. What is the question, sir? Hmm? Sir, what is the question, sir? The question is what is server and workstation operating system? Workstation operating what system, server? sir. Ah, what is server and workstation operating system? I will share in the group itself. If you don't find it, I will share that in Sim Expert YouTube channel, it is there. Okay. So do watch it. Sir, I have a question. Mm, yes. As you mentioned that SOC team do the network monitoring, that syslog server and thing that comes into SOC, they are used to do a syslog server. So do you use the same thing or that's old thing, syslog server? Because the same thing, they collect all the logs and check it. This, is it like a Splunk? It's very confusing here. You, you don't have clarity actually. Any server it is. You don't have clarity. Any server, a Linux server, you also call a syslog server. It's, it's any server. Any server. You don't have clarity what is a syslog server, actually. I'm talking about any server can be monitored. Okay. What is a syslog server? You will get to know later period. Okay. So clear this. So what I'm telling is, for example, this is server, right? You have to host an application, right? You have to host an application. So you have hosted an application. Now uh, you have to give access to several other people so that other people can access it, right? Yes or no? Get mind? In company also, they can access it and uh, other outside people can access it. That means you have to connect this to outside and to the company. Now you can see several computers are connected with each other. Yes or no? They form a network. When one or more computers are connected with each other, we call as what we call as network. 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 network sir. This is a network. This is called as this is called as network. When two or more computers are connected. Two or more computers are coming. Uh, when coming, uh, two or more com computers are communicating each other, is not right? a computer, to communicate. Is not a network right? We call as network, right? So this is network, right? If the two or more computer wants to communicate with each, each other, we have to co connect them, right? So this is called as network. So in the network, in the network, you can see. <coughs> So you understand the end objective or end objective of this machine, this server is 
we wanted to host application we wanted to host data right in application in facebook you you wanted to give application access right to the outside people that's the reason you had this uh, you know server so that people can access facebook can access their profile can enter their data and certain time you have applications such as for example uh, icic bank application where you can do the transaction you can uh, make the payment right there are several applications your cell related uh, payroll application where you can download the salary information right but there are various type of applications which are storing the information giving the information to you right which being stored on the server and you have backend database and everything the end objective is this one right so now <clears throat> now you can see but <clears throat> how people can reach out how people can access this computer because there are several computers there are, uh, on the internet on the network in the company itself for example in the company itself there are so many computers connected and in the internet world also there are so many computers yes or no so how computers will be identified over the internet or over the network yes or no by the unique address that we call as IP address. What we call as in the net IP address. In the net IP address. address. Right. In the network, every computer, like you are ha you are having your name, right? You are being identified by your unique name. Yes or no? Yes, sir. If I call you Imran, then Imran will speak. If I call Vidhi, then Vidhi will speak. If I call Sunil, then Sunil will speak, right? Because that is your unique name. Similarly, uh, computers also have their unique name, unique address that we call as what we call as IP address. IP address. address sir. What we call as IP address. IP address. Right. So each and every computer in the network will have the unique address that we call as. IP address, right? So this computer wants to communicate with this computer. This computer wants to communicate with this computer. This computer wants to give it to other computer. So every computer will have IP address, right? Understand? Clear? So within the net, within your, for example, within the company, within your company, the network, within your company, local network, we call as what we call as LAN, local LAN, right? Within a company, all computers are connected with each other, right? That we call as LAN, local area network, right? So within your company, all computer will be able to communicate with each other using IP address, right? All computer will have the IP address and this computer want to communicate with each, this computer, it can communicate using this computer IP address. Right, this computer can you can enter the IP of this computer. This computer can communicate with this computer using the IP address, right? <clears throat> using on the LAN. So this is your company network, right? So your local network. So this this inside internal network you call as LAN. Understand? Clear? So for example, <clears throat> you want to communicate. So this your local net look this machine which is part of your local area network wants to communicate to one of the machine, which is the part of other than your local area network. Understand? Right? So that we call as internet, right? So one network communication from one network example, for, for example, this is your local area network, right? Or for example, you want to communicate to other, for example, you want to communicate to Facebook. Facebook. So this is a Facebook network. Facebook also will have this kind of network, right? Understand? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Also have this kind of network. This is your network, and this is the Facebook network. Yes or no? So you this computer wants to access the computer which is hosted in the Facebook network. So communication from one network to another network is called as inter net internet right? see local area, see what i can do is within my company with everybody is understanding right what i'm explaining you yes sir everybody yes, sir. right yes. So yes sir whatever see 
this is my this is my own company i can buy my cables i can buy a computer and i can connect my computer to each other and form the network i can buy a cable and connect this computers and i can form a local area network and this computer can talk to each other can communicate with each other without buying any internet connection but when my this user want to access the inter facebook.com right can we can we use, use lan no right yes no, or no? no no so what we have to use internet right because when one network wants to communicate with another network that we call as internet so communication from one network is called to another network we call as internet internet like yes or no like interstate buses one state to another state call as interstate one city to another city call as intercity right Similarly, one is one network to another network is called as internet yes or no so internet means internet is nothing but the connection from one network to another network is called as internet right so your internet service provider right giving giving connection to all everybody all companies right so internet service provider is actually you know uh, connecting all local area network all network you know your local area network to facebook network to accenture network to home network they are all connecting all local area network to everybody right that we for, that form as internet so internet is not a property of anyone it's a property of everybody right that we call as internet all networks are connected with each other and they form the internet get in mind your company is connected with one with cable right your company is connected for example this is a facebook network facebook network is connected your uh, civic spot is connected right your Accenture is connected, right? So this is called as internet. Communication from one network to another network is connected. Who connect? Your internet service provider, your ISP, Jio here in India, Airtel, right? They use this bandwidth. They use the cable. So this cable is deployed by ISPs. Yes or no? So ISPs connect these different networks to each other. If you taken the connection from uh, Airtel, then Airtel will connect this cable to your local area network, to your network. If you take the interaction from Jio, uh, then Jio will connect your network to rest of the internet, right? So internet means communication from one network to another network is called as internet. Clear this? I'm yes, explaining you. In very short, short, I'm explaining you because in detail I have explained in the video. So a short session, I'm taking it. Okay. In detail, if you watch the video in detail, so four classes I have uh, divided in two classes to make it in short. Okay. Sir. So uh, that series of YouTube that I have shared you, I have explained you in detail so that you can cover it. So that we call as internet, right? So, <coughs> so what will happen now? So internet world, right? You understand IP address are unique addresses, right? So what IP address they are using right now? No other computer across the world are using the same IP address. IP address are four octet, octet IP address, like 192.16, for example, uh, 199.0.2.100 these kind of ip address you will have right uh, whenever so these kind of ip address are unique address ip address are unique address so every computer whenever you take the internet connection right whenever you take the internet connection you will get these kind of IP address using which uh, you know you will be identified your computer will be identified over the internet so once you take the internal connection you'll get the unique address that is called as IP address. Understand? Clear this point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Clear this point to everybody. So in the yes, internet sir. world, 
in the internet world once you take the internet connection right like you are being identified but you are by your own name similarly your computer is being identified because in the internet world is big right uh, billions of computer connect with each other right so how your computer will be identified over the internet so you will get a unique id uh, better call it ip address so once you take the internet concept from isp you will get the unique ip address uh, unique address that calls ip address so ip address are always unique uh, the ip address that you are using right now no other computer across the world are using the same ip address understand so that is called as ip address <laughs> so what will happen So you know what happens? This IP address, whenever you take, for example, uh, uh, at your home, at your home, uh, I will come back to this network now. Before, whatever, for example, you take the connection from internet, right? Internet connection you have taken. So uh, you understand? Uh, once you take the internet connection uh, at your home, you will get the IP address, right? Automatically, you get the IP address. For example, once you take the internet connection, you get the IP address 192, for example, 199.0.2.100. See, you understand, in order to access the internet, to connect to the internet, IP address is important, right? Without IP address, you cannot access the internet. It is not just that you connect to the cable and you can access the internet. You need to have the IP address, then only you can access the internet. Without IP address, you cannot access the internet. Get your point? So, uh, when you take the internet connection, you connect to the internet, one IP address will be dynamically assigned to your computer. Understand? Because, so dynamically, you will not come to know because you never checking, right? Being a normal user, you never check what is your IP address because you are not bothered about bother about that what is my IP address. You just, as a home user, you just access the internet. You connect to the internet, you just access the internet. You are not bothered about that what is my IP address, right? But IP address is very important uh, uh, to have to access the internet. Without IP address, you cannot access the internet. Get your point? So uh, once you connect to the internet, by default, your ISP will automatically assign the IP address to your computer, automatically. So uh, IP addresses are not free. IP addresses are not free. There is some cost involved in the IP addresses. So what will happen is when uh, uh, you take the internal connection from ISP, ISP dynamically assign the IP address to your computer. ISP, uh, this one, have the DSCP server. So what happens is... This sir, ISP... Why ISP is dynamically addressed, sir? What? Why ISP is a dynamically addressed, sir? Because they... Why they... What happens is automatic dynamically means automatically. Automatically, once you connect, once you connect uh, through Wi-Fi or through cable, right? Automatically, one IP address will be assigned to your computer, right? And once you disconnect, once you disconnect to the internet, this IP address will be free and go back to the ISP, and they can reutilize this IP address and assign to some other computer. Because IP addresses are not free, there is some cost involved. There is a, some cost involved in the IP address, right? So they are not charging you the cost for the IP address separately. So that is the reason what they are doing is, once you are accessing internet, they will be assigning the IP address to you. And once you disconnect the internet, the IP address will go back to the ISP and they will be reutilizing the IP address to some other computers, right? So this kind of IP address is called as dynamic IP address. 
what called call as dynamic IP address. Understand? So there are two types of IP address, dynamic IP address and static, static IP. Static IP address, sir. Dynamic and static. So this kind of IP address is dynamic IP address, right? Sir. Understand what so, I'm saying? Yes, sir. So dynamic and uh, static IP address may be same or may not be same. What? A static IP a static IP address may be same for the other organizations. So this is mostly for home user, right? Because you are not bothered about that. What when you are in, using internet, right? You are not bothered about what is my IP address. So right now you are connected to the internet. You get one IP address. You disconnect it. Next time again you are connected. You got different IP address. You are not bothered about that, right? That is the reason uh, when you take the broadband connection, you get dynamic IP address. Every time it may get changed. So that does not matter. So ISP may utilize that IP address with some other computer so that the cost of the IP address will be less to them. Right? For example, if they have five lakhs of user, so they need to buy five lakhs of IP address. So they know that not all users are using internet at the same time, right? So they may not buy five lakhs of IP address. They will buy less IP address instead of five lakhs. They buy three lakhs of IP address. They understand not all users will connect to the internet at the same time, right? So they will buy three lakhs and uh, whenever user will connect, they will assign free IP address particular user. And once disconnect, it will go back to the ISP and they can reutilize to other users. Get your mind? Clear? Uh, so that question, sir. Yes. Uh, so if we change providers for the internet, uh, so we will be uh, assigned a new IP address? If you if you use ISP, they will have their own IP address, right? If you change ISP, I'm talking about same ISP. If you change ISP itself, then they will have their own IP address, set of IP address. They will be assigning IP address from their own pool. Okay. Get what I mean? I'm talking about particular ISP. See what happens if there is an internet authority. Uh, see, this, this all session actually I have explained, as I said yesterday, if you watch the yesterday session, if you joined the yesterday session, that I explain you in detail about this session. These are very basic session that I have explained you in 10 session. I just wanted to reduce the time because many of the people have already watched it in this basic session. And uh, these are already available on YouTube. So I wanted to reduce the time. That's the reason I was not going with the deep. So I wanted to reduce the time so that we can put this time more in this plunk session. So that's the reason I was thinking to uh, give last time on this. Once uh, this session, once you cover it tomorrow onwards, right, you will have very good understanding. So this is a very basic session. So I thought you will watch it. So what I'm saying is, what are you saying? Um, <clears throat> there is authority called as AINA. International authority called as AINA, which are responsible for IP address management, AINA. So every ISP actually buys the IP address series from AINA, right? So there's a cost involved, right? So this ISP will try to reduce the cost. So less IP address they buy, less the cost, right? So they using DSCP, they can reduce the cost. <coughs> they can reduce the cost of IP address, right? So when you uh, take the broadband connection, they will actually uh, use the DSCP. So DSCP means dynamically. So they didn't, so dynamic automatically one IP address will be assigned to your computer till the time you are connected to the internet, you will get the same IP address. Once you disconnect the IP address, this is called a DSCP, dynamic host control protocol. It will be a server where they will keep all the IP address and which will assign the IP address automatically to your computer, right? And once you disconnect to the internet, the IP address will go back to the DSCP pool, right? And anybody else connect, it will automatically randomly be assigned to the other computer. Got in mind? So that IP address can be reutilized. The cost will be less because uh, instead of 500 users, 500 IP address, maybe they will buy two, three lakhs of IP address. So they can be reutilized, right? That's the reason they are not charging you separate cost for the, uh, for the IP address because IP address are being reutilized here. So this kind of IP address is called as dynamic IP address. Dynamic IP address, as I mentioned here, right? 
another kind of IP address is called as static IP address. What called as static IP address? Static IP address. What called as static IP address? The static IP address is a fixed address. Fixed address means uh, you can buy the IP address from I ISP. I mean, IP address is being, uh, being bought from the INA only, but as a normal user, as a company, you can't buy the IP address from INA. For example, in telecom numbers, if you have to buy a mobile number, is being assigned by TRI right in India. But you can't buy directly from TRI. You have to buy it from telecom companies, telecom service provider. Similarly, uh, from IP address also, you can't buy directly from INA. You have to buy it from service provider, ISP. Sir, so, tell me what INA, sir. Hmm, like, what? what you said, INA, you are telling, right? Uh -huh. Uh, I didn't get exactly what it Aina is. is internet service provider, uh, sorry, international service authority, non-profit okay. organization, which provides a series of IP address. Okay, okay, got it, thanks. Internet assigned number authority. Internet assigned number authority, which is responsible for, uh, you know, providing the series of IP addresses, right? So the service provider has to buy the IP address from Aina. Get your mind? So IP addresses are not free. So ISP has to buy the IP address from INA. Get your mind? Clear? Everybody clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I actually wanted to make it fast, but it seems it is going slow. If you ever watch this session in YouTube, right? So I explained this, but uh, I wanted to make it fast. Uh, so that's why I was skipping some topics in between to make it fast. So, uh, so dynamic. Mm. Mm. Yes. Uh, who, who owns this INA? INA is American company, actually, American one, American organization. Okay. But everybody has to follow this. Okay, thank you. The international organization, but it is it is there in America. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, what I said, dynamic IP address and static IP address. So dynamic IP address uh, are not fixed, right? Now another type of IP address is static IP address. Static, static IP address, IP address are the IP address which will be which will be fixed right that means which will not be changed if you uh, till the time you have bought so you can buy the ip address uh, from the isp if you want a static ip address you can buy for example you want the ip address that should not be changed whether you connect to the internet or non connected that ip address should remain configured to your computer in that case you have to buy the static ip address that mean normal home user you don't need static ip address but if you want, for example, Facebook, Facebook, you want to host, right? Facebook IP address should not get changed, right? Otherwise, people will not be able to access the Facebook if their address gets changed. For example, you want to uh, you want to buy a Domino's Pizza. Domino's Pizza is in HSR layout, Bangalore, HSR layout, some specific address. Domino's Pizza is in HSR layout, first main, uh, first floor, first main, HSR layout, right? So Domino's Pizza should have their fixed address, right? If they will change the address, people will not be able to find uh, the Domino's Pizza, right? It will be lost for them. But I am right now staying Marathali. If my address got changed to, uh, to the, uh, to the uh, Sarjapur Road, I can still go to Domino's Pizza and buy the pizza, right? That means I am the normal user. Wherever I am staying, I can still buy the, that go to that store and buy the pizza right but that pizza shop address should not get changed yes or no so normal home user whatever ip address they are having it is not uh, you know is a matter of concern but the facebook address should not get changed so whenever you are hosting any application right and giving access to multiple user you should have a fixed address right in that case you should have a static ip address Understand? Clear? 
So static IP address is the IP address which will remain configured fixed to your computer. Understand? So that kind of IP address is called as static IP address. <coughs> Clear this one? Static yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? So you guys will note down once you watch those sessions. I will explain you very slowly, slowly. So what is static IP address? What is dynamic address? I have explained you. Uh, so so static speak. address means uh, that address will be fixed uh, and it would not be changed means that is uh, that is called uh, that is called a uh, static IP address now, sir. Ha, what I explained. Yes, sir. I am that only I am telling, sir. Once the IP address has been fixed and it would not be changed is known as uh, is known as static IP address now, sir. Ha, yes. Don't need to repeat what I said. That is the same. <laughs> I said uh, it will be it will be configured and will not be changed for yes, what sir. period what period you have bought it will remain configured in your system and it will not change while yes, dynamic sir. IP address it uh, will it will be changed sir okay so that the is dynamic IP address address. Is automatic sir i'll take a water and come just give me a moment Today was my small effort actually to explain you in a faster way, in different way to make it fast. So if you feel that uh, you are not understanding anything, something, so uh, you feel that uh, I made it a little faster way because uh, those sessions are available on YouTube and I ask you to watch it. So after finishing the session, if you have not watched those sessions on YouTube, if you watch it, you'll come to know. Uh, you are easily going to understand. I have told wrong, sir. Okay, so that IP address is called as Dynamic IP address. Till the time, till here, everybody understood, right? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. 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 So yes, sir. So you understand? Yes, sir. So you understand uh, uh, static IP address and and dynamic IP address. Now you understand uh, these computers now in the company. Now you understand at your home, uh, whenever you want to connect to the internet, you can take a broadband connection, right? You can take a Broadband connection. So broadband connection, for example, in India, minimum cost you 500 rupees, right? Minimum cost you how much? 500 rupees, right? In the company, you can see, for example, in the company, you have 1 lakh of user. How many users? How many users you have in a company? One, one, one lakh. lakh. For 1 lakh user, you will have one lakh connections, internet connection. Will it take one lakh connections? No, sir. We don't need one lakh connections. Then so only how one... people will <laughs> take the internet connection? Then how will they will uh, use internet access? So with the help of public IP and private IP. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That's a matter of concern, right? One lakh user, how they can access? Okay, at home you can use one lakh uh, one connection and you can use it but one lakh user how they can use it right because every computer connect to the internet then use they use ip address right <laughs> so that unique address so unique address means uh, uh, and uh, ip addresses are not free there's a cost involved right yes or no ip addresses are not free there's a cost involved for that so uh, when we have one lakh of user right uh, in the company, it's a big challenge. ISP, we understand ISP is giving connection to lakhs of users. They buy the, IS, uh, buy the IP address from INA. We understand they earn money from users. But in a company, 
our business is different our business is not earn money from people our business is to uh, different right giving internet is to run the business right so now how we can set up the connection aina said that now aina said that no worries no need to buy the ip address i have uh, you know uh, assign the range of ip address which is free which anybody can use it you don't need to buy the ip address from uh, isp if you want to uh, use uh, you know uh, connect to the internet uh, all lakhs of user you just take one internet connection just single internet connection you can take and no need to buy one lakh of ip address no need to buy one lakh of ip address i have reserved few range of ip address for free you can utilize it what ip address range of ip address. now i am taking range of ip address 10.0.0.0/8 i am telling you what is this 172.16 slash 12, 192.168.0.0.16. Once you watch those session in YouTube, I have given the homework also, okay, in between. So sir, make sure you complete the homework. These IP address are non, uh, uh, these address are uh, non, uh, non. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Okay. <clears throat> So what I'm saying is whatever home, uh, session you are going to watch in between, I have given the homework also. So make sure that you complete the homework as well. Okay. So Aina said that uh, you understand in the company, you have lakhs of computers. It was a challenge, right? At home, one computer we have taken then okay, 500 rupees. But in company, we have lakhs of computers. How many internet access we can take and how we can assign the IP address? That's our challenge. So Aina said that no, no need to worry. You can just take one internet connection and this range of IP address, whole range of IP address. Uh, I private IP address, sir. You, you should not tell anything when I'm, I'm on the floor. When I take a pause, okay. then you should tell, okay? Okay, sir, sorry. You would have some patience. Uh, what I'm saying is, uh, Aina said that this set of IP addresses are, uh, these set of IP addresses I have reserved for free. Anybody can use it. You can see this is not a single IP address, a range of IP address. Range means 10.0.0.0 slash 8. This is called a subnet mask. Subnet mask. Subnet mask slash 8 means whenever you read it, it's not a single IP address. It's subnet mask means it, it will create multiple permutation and combination. It's a series of IP address. If I divide it, 10.0.0.1, 10.0.0.2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like multiple huge number of IP address can be created. Till 255, 255, 250, 10.0, 10.255, 255, 10 multiple IP address can be created if you divide it like this, right? That is called as subnetting, subnetting. If you read the topic IP addressing, right, then how to divide this IP address, you will learn, right? <laughs> that is called subnetting. So the, when you see some slash, right, that you understand this is not a single IP address, it's subnet mask is given. That means it's a range of IP address. That is enough for you if you uh, if you understand this. If you want to learn more, then you learn the topic IP addressing. If you want to learn more, if you have time, if you want to learn more, then learn the topic IP, IP addressing. Okay. For now, if you have time, after learning those sessions, then you learn the topic IP addressing. So 10.0.0.0, right? Then dot one, dot two, dot three, dot four, dot five, many IP can be created. Similarly, 172.16.0.0 means dot one, dot two, dot three, dot four, many IP can be created. Similarly, many IP can be created using this range, right? So these are the range of IP, not a single IP address. So Aina said that these IP address I have reserved for free. Anybody can use this IP address to internal to their network. Anybody can use it. No need to pay anything. But Aina has added terms and conditions. Aina said that anybody can use this IP address for free, but only for internal communication. <clears throat> Any can use it only for internal communication. That means two or more computer can communicate with each other internally. 
right? That means any computer having this IP address cannot connect to the internet, can only communicate internally because you understand IP addresses are always unique address. Yes or no? More than one computer cannot have the same IP address. Otherwise, conflict will happen. And you understand on the internet world, right? Aina is not your friend. Aina is a friend of everybody. Yes or no? So Aina is saying this IP address is free. You can use it. Everybody will use it. If you can use it in, in, to your network, other people must be using on their network also. If they can use it internet, conflict will happen. That's the reason Aina has added terms and condition that these IP address can be used for internal communication only. Any computer having this IP address cannot go to the internet. Only internal computer can communicate with each other. Understand? So this kind of IP address is called as internal IP address or private IP address, which we can use in our local area network, LAN network for the computer to communicate with each other. Understand? We cannot connect to the internet. <clears throat> Clear? So there are two types of IP again, public IP address and and Private IP, private, IP. private IP address. Private, private IP. IP address. Right. So yeah. any IP address other than this range is called as public IP address. Public IP address. So you, can you tell me uh, 199.0.2.100? This is private IP or public IP address? Public. 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 Public, public. public sir. Public, right? Is this public? A private? Yes, sir. Public. 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 And uh, this is 10.0.2.100? Private. Private, sir. Private, sir. <laughs> sir, private. Private? Yes. Private, right? Yes, private. Right. So you understand, right? So there are two types of IP address, private and public. Public IP address are the IP address which can be identified over the internet, right? While private IP address are the IP address which are used to the local area network within the private network and cannot be identified over the internet. So I have to connect my legs of computer over the internet. So I now said that you can use this IP address which are free, but these IP address can be used internal to the network not outside the network right so that's a challenge again okay our computer can communicate with each other internally that problem is uh, internal communication is fine but how they can communicate outside how computers can communicate outside so you can see okay uh, let's say these are multiple computers i have configured let's say one computer Two computer, three computer, right? Let's say I have assigned IP address. I have assigned IP address 10.0.0.2 and 10.0.0.3 and 10.0.0.4, right? So these computers I have configured with private IP address, right? So they can communicate with each other, right? But they cannot go to the internet, right? So how uh, how they communicate now? The general challenge then. So do I need to buy hundred of thousand of IP address now, lakhs of IP address? Then thanks to the technology, one more concept that we call as how yeah. we can how we can enable internet access to all lakhs of computer. Anybody knows? To convert to private IP to public IP with the help of net, net. right so what we can do this is this device is called as router i will explain you this device is called as router in the gateway this device is called as router the concept is called as net, net network access to network address netting. translation network address translation and netting. process of netting is net is called as netting network address translation so now I have taken the interconnection. I have to buy only one private public IP address, 199.0.2, for example, 100. I bought this particular IP address, right? I bought 
this particular IP address. You can see network address translation. Network address means what do you mean network address? What is the address IP of network? address? Right. Your IP address. The address means IP address. Right. Address of network is IP address. So network address means means IP address translation. Right. So you can see translation. Translation. Translator. English to Hindi. Translation. Right. One language to another language. Translation. Similarly, network address translation means translating from one IP to another IP address. So here we can translate private IP address with the public IP public IP address. So this is one device, network device, because router. In this router, we can enable netting feature, right? So in this netting feature, this uh, once you access the internet using private IP address, it will go to the router. And this router will map your private IP address with public IP address and you can access the internet. Similarly, your computer will access private IP address and, and your uh, router will map your private IP address with the public IP address and you can access the what? Internet. internet. You can access the internet using the uh, you know, netting concept. From netting, nothing but the network address translation. Translation, it will translate private IP address with the public IP address. So netting is nothing and not only translating private to public, but if required, it can translate public to private also, private to private also, and public to public also. Many will understand netting is only private to private, private, private yeah. to public, but it yeah. can translate whatever you want private to private, private to public, public to public also, right? But here... Sir, at, at hmm. one time, how many address, uh, private address net can translate to and public address? You can you can define complete series also. Complete series. So uh, how many public are assigned to uh, net? You, because... can, you can define multiple also and single also. No, since there control. is cost involved with public uh, IP address, so uh, I uh, there must be some uh, big amount of number that must be associated with this, because if uh, at since there is or a one lakh user, you uh, you told earlier you told that uh, if we need to connect one lakh users, then uh, there must be some high cost which is uh, uh, this uh, related to router. Right. Since if uh, uh, there is uh, some request from uh, private for uh, 50,000 people who want to communicate to uh, internet, then there must be 50,000 public uh, IP addresses, no? No, no. I said you can buy a single IP address. Okay, so you how much will it user, cost? You have one lakh of user, right? You can even yes. buy a single IP address. All user requests will go to the router. Router will map all public private IP with the public IP address and go to the internet. Get in mind? Just using the router, like your home internet. See, your home router, one moment. Your home router, right? Your home router is also having netting. It also does the netting. Your home router, 10 people connect to the Wi-Fi, right? Yes or no? And yes, everyone is able yes, to access the internet. Home router is also having netting concept. Hmm. When you connect to the internet, right? Uh, mm -hmm. everybody who access the internet, everybody in internet, it goes the public IP only. You get the mm -hmm. private IP uh, uh, when you connect to the Wi-Fi, but when everybody access the internet on the internet world, your uh, your Wi-Fi public IP only goes to the internet, right? Your home network also 10 devices connected to Wi-Fi. All you get is private IP address. Get my through Wi-Fi. All 10 people, 20 people who are connected. Similar concept here also. This is called netting. Okay? Clear? Yeah. Uh, uh, what? <clears throat> uh, what are you saying? You are saying anything? Yeah, all 10 users are using only one so public IP. Right. Correct. All 10 users, you have thousands of users, lakhs of users can use single IP address. In internet world, for example, uh, for example, you are using Facebook, right? If thousands of users are using Facebook, Facebook will understand 
connection is coming only from single IP address because your public IP address will go to the internet, not your private IP address. Yeah, okay. All 10 internal people can communicate with one IP at a time, right? Right, right. Connection will be identified with the unique session ID at session IP session ID. Okay, okay. Only session ID will be changing. IP address changing, will be right. Same. Correct, correct. IP address will be same. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Clear? Everybody clear? See, I have explained you and you have written also. Uh, I have explained you a little faster, uh, but uh, on that session, you can write it also. Once you watch in YouTube, you will have to write also. I have explained you to write what is netting and everything. Okay? So that time you will write also. <clears throat> clear, right? Netting. So that we call as netting. So, clear, uh, sir. These are little, little concepts nobody is going to ask you, but this is very important to understand once you work in the company because we are the part of cyber security, but we are securing the network, right? So we should have understanding of network. So that is the whole idea behind that, why I explain on the network side. So you understand uh, uh, these devices, uh, you know, uh, we have your uh, application hosted, right? Actual you know, the whole idea behind that is these devices, servers, where we actually, as I mentioned, um, uh, you know, keep our data, keep our applications, right? To connect these, uh, you know, these servers with the internet world, with each other, right? We need to have some devices which can allow the communication to connect, right? So those devices to form the network, right? Means if two or more devices wants to communicate with each other, we have to connect them with each, with each other, right? So those network devices, which help those devices to connect with each other, we call as network devices. So these network devices are of two types. One is this one and other is this one. What are those devices? Switch and router. One is switch and router. Switch. And another is? One is switch, another is router. Router. One is switch and another is a router. One is switch and another is a router. Switch and router. So what switch? Sometimes we'll see two or more devices are connected with this particular device switch. Sometimes we'll see these devices connected. You can see. Router right now is in gateway here. Sometime it will be there in internal network. There are so many, uh, you know, uh, router will be there in the company. So many switches will be there in the company, right? Sometime you can see right now, uh, let me draw uh, architecture again. Press architecture. When we need switch and router and the network. Ten dot zero dot zero dot two ten dot zero dot zero dot three ten dot zero dot zero dot four one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot now uh, one ninety two one sixty eight zero dot five one ninety two dot one sixty eight zero dot six. 
You can see uh, private uh, IP address, for example, the series is 192.168.g. Uh, sorry, one minute. Uh, series uh, 10.0.0.0 slash 8, uh, 172 1.16.0.0 slash 12. 192.168.0.0/16. Okay, you can see these are the network, right? This series subnet. This is called a subnet or network, right? You can see this IP address. These systems are the part of which subnet? Which subnet is a part of? Eight. These a part of first subnet, right? We call first, it first. first subnet, right? First subnet, right? And so, you know, when so this is private right now, in case of public also, if these, if two or more computers are part of same subnet or same network, you can see if two or more computers are the part of same network or so subnet, same either we call as network or same sub or subnet, if two or more computers, if two or more computer which are the part of same network or same subnet wants to communicate with each other. If two or more devices or two or more digital devices, which are the part of same subnet, that means same network, same network right now, all are part of 10 network, right? Wants to communicate with each other, then we have to deploy the what? Switch. switch to allow the communication right if two or more devices which are the part of same subnet same network wants to communicate with each other then we have to deploy the switch to allow the communication that means same devices same network we can connect them with the switch one port of the switch we can add this device another port we have add this device another port we can add this device understand switch you can see uh, this also, uh, uh, same network, we have added one switch. Th this also device, one switch. Now you can see this is one network, 10 network, this is 192 network, right? So can we connect this switch to this switch directly? Yes. Yes, we can, sir. No, we cannot. If we two have... or more devices, if two or more devices, wants to communicate with each other if they are the part of different network we switch. cannot connect with the switch router but with the, the help of router we can do that we have to deploy the router in between yeah right switch switches within the network or within the subnet while router routes between the network between the router routes between the network while switch switches within the subnet within the network while router routes between the network of two or more devices or the network right see single devices generally for example one device is two device 192 10 dot something or 10 dot generally two device you will not configure different ip address okay isn't it and deploy the router you will not do that but if in this case this device 192 IP address, this is 10 IP address. If you want to communicate, definitely you have to deploy router only, then only communication will happen. Yes or no? Getting a point? What I'm saying? Yes, sir. This is 10.0.0.2. This is 192.168.0.3, for example. This is 10 network, this is 192 network, right? If you deploy the switch, communication will not happen. This is different network, this is different network. We have to deploy the router. But this is, router. Not, a this is not a realistic situation because just for two devices, unnecessarily you will not configure different range. Yes or no? Better you configure same range and deploy yes. the switch. Yes, sir. Yes. But this situation will happen generally for different network. This network have different range and this network have different range. And now you want to provide a communication between two network, so you'll deploy the router. 
So this network computer wants to communicate with this network computer. So we have to deploy the route and for example, this computer wants to communicate with this computer. How the communication will happen? This is different, this is different. Then in between, we have to deploy the router. So router routes between the two network. So if two or more computers, which is a part of different network, wants to communicate with each other, we have to deploy the router. While if so router routes between the network while switch switches within the network. Understand? <clears throat> Clear? Yes. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah. These two devices call as router and switches. So using router and switches, we form the network <laughs> so in the whole company will have many many different network small small network within the company right so in a typical company you may have 30 40 50 uh, 100 of switches 30 40 50 of routers right so you can see in the gateway also we have router because this is our internal network so and this is your public network this is a public ip address this is internal ip address so two different network is being segregated by the router Yes or no? So in the gateway also, you will have a router because this is a different network and this is a different network, right? So this router is on gateway. So that's the reason this router is called a gateway router or perimeter router, right? So this is one router, but internal also you'll have many router in between, which connect in the internet world also, right? Uh, ISPs will have many routers in between because ISPs, all ISPs are connected to each other. That's the reason we call public network. You understand? In the internet world, all service providers are connected with each other, right? That is the reason we call it internet. All your service provider are connected with each other. Yes or no? Your Jio connected to the internet, uh, connected to the Airtel, Airtel connected to Sifi, Sifi connected to the Telenor, right? All service provider, internet service provider are connected to the internet, connected to, the, connected to each other. That's the reason we call it internet. Do you think that? I have taken internet from Airtel and you have taken from Jio. So do you think that I have taken from Airtel and you will not access my resources because I have connected from Airtel, you are connected from Jio. Have you ever seen that? No, right? No. Because every service provider are connected with the internet. Do you think that, okay, uh, this one, Airtel is, is my competitor. Airtel has... Uh, is my competitor or is my enemy. So I will not connect. I will not give my gateway to Airtel to connect with. Have you ever seen? It cannot happen, right? It can never happen. Otherwise, it will not be called as internet. In the internet means all the service provider across the world are connected to the internet, are forming the internet. That's the internet is called as public network. Internet is not a property of anyone, it is the property of everyone. That's the reason internet is a public network. You or me actually form the internet. My resource is connected to the internet, right? So you and me actually form the internet, right? <clears throat> Just give me one moment. Uh, at this 10 o'clock, you can take five minute break for water.
Five minute break for water. You can take ten o'clock right now. Five minute will connect. For water, you can take five minute. Ten thirty will take fifteen minute break. Five minute water break. Okay, thank you. Okay.
सर आई हैव ए स्मॉल डाउट सर इफ वी प्लेस राउटर बिटवीन द स्विच एट दैट टाइम राउटर विल यूज पब्लिक आईपी एड्रेस और प्राइवेट आईपी एड्रेस वेयर बिटवीन द स्विच सर इनसाइड द नेटवर्क इनसाइड प्राइवेट इफ सी राउटर एंड स्विच कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर पब्लिक नेटवर्क आल्सो प्राइवेट नेटवर्क आल्सो बट इफ यू प्लेस इट विद इन योर प्राइवेट नेटवर्क दे विल बी यूजिंग प्राइवेट आईपी एड्रेस ओके यूजिंग ओवर पब्लिक इंटरनेट वर्ल्ड आल्सो यूज राउटर एंड स्विचेस right so they can use yes. private also public also right now we using within network so it will be using private ip address right okay. thank so you router sir and yeah. switches can be used for public ip communication also private ip communication also it does not matter right in our network we are using private ip address so they will be communicating providing communication between private ip address right it does not matter for them get yes, me sir. network should yes, be same for the switch and network should be different for the router right yes sir. okay now now you know using uh, the switch and routers you know uh, let's say see even i have covered the session here still you have to watch those session okay because those session i have explained you little more much more okay so a uh, little fast way and brief way i am explaining you here so you have to watch those session as well if you have not watched it already hmm got it right everybody is clear right what i am saying right now i am saying yes to an explaining this session here on the youtube session which i have shared uh i have explained you more deep dive so you have to watch those session as well if you have not watched it already so what i'm saying is now using switch and routers right now these systems that we have the servers internal users can communicate to the internet right whatever work they have to do can access the internet apart from that we have some servers installed here outside people can access Uh, your resources right now you understand right <clears throat> there is a concern here this is kind of office with gate but no security guard right anybody can come inside and do anything can damage your server can ex can exploit it means can can modify the information can steal the data yes or no and similarly internal user also can can uh, you know uh can forward any critical information outside that means there is no security right there is no regulation nobody is there to ensure the security of data security of the information isn't it it's a kind of gate office with gate but no security guard anybody can come inside anybody can go outside isn't it yes or no so we have formed yes. the network but communication is happening established means you have office with gate but no security guard right so don't you think that we have to talk about security of the network yes or yes. no yes yes so uh, so before that before we talk about securing the network let's understand how communication happen on the digital network let me talk about here in brief how digital communication happen in the in the digital communication in the digital communication communication happens in the form of packets and packets are having two parts what are those parts in the digital communication communication is, is happening in the form of packets right and packets data and two parts data and header headers first of all is header first part is header header and other part is data your all communication 
right? Whatever you're sending and receiving, the communication is actually divided in the form of small, small packets, right? You understand, if you are uh, 90s or 80s, if you have ever used uh, Windows XP or Vista, whenever you used to copy and copy files, copy and paste files before, Right? Have you ever seen when you are pasting some file from here, downloading on pasting, it used to happen like this. When you're transferring some files. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Yes. No, no. Mm -hmm. Like this. Like, like, like a packet, telegram packet, going. One packet. Ah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like packet, a small, small packet. Yes or no? And it was showing some speed also. How much? Yes or no? A size of the packet, it depends on the end-to-end -end speed. If Yes or no? So it, it depends on the speed. If your internet end-to-end speed, speed is good, speed bandwidth means, you understand, uh, uh, the water, you have uh, the water connection at your home, right? From tank water tank to at your home, a pipe size is end-to-end -end pipe size is bigger, high bandwidth, you'll get higher pressure, good pressure, good water speed, right? But if pipe at a home is small size, you'll get less pressure. Yes or no? <laughs> from tank itself, the pipe size is less. And from at your home, this, this is the size. Still, you'll get less water. Understand? The size should be bigger. Similarly, in internet speed also, for example, you're accessing, you're downloading something. You're downloading some data. You see, Sometimes you're downloading some files, you get the higher speed. Sometimes you're downloading some, some site, you're, you're getting the lesser speed. Have you ever observed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you're downloading or uploading speed, it depends on the end-to-end -end bandwidth. It is not depend on your internet only. It depends on their server internet also, how much bandwidth they are using. It's end-to-end -end bandwidth. Yes or no? So what happens is uh, that so that's the reason how that's how the packet size will be divide, divided. The uh, the packet size will be divided based on the whole uh, you know uh, the whole bandwidth, right? The data will be divided in the form of packets. Then digital communication, that whole data communication happen in the form of small small packets, right? And packets will have two parts: header and data. So what header will contains? Header will contain the Source information, for example, this IP, this computer IP 190, 199.0.2.100, right? And uh, this computer uh, having the IP address 197.0.2.100, right? So, uh, so header means source information such as source IP address, destination IP address, source port, and destination port number right and so on what is the source ip address what is the destination ip address what is source port and what is destination port get in mind that information will be uh, there on the header get in mind that information header means kind of letter you have to send a letter right from mumbai to bangalore mumbai to bangalore <clears throat> yes or no so you can con consider packet like your letter envelope. In envelope, you will write the address, right? To whom you want to send the letter. So what is the address of yours? That means your IP address. Address is the IP address and name is the port number. And data is the letter inside the envelope. Let me tell you that. For example, this is a Facebook server. This is a Facebook server. You want to access the facebook.com, right? So in the header, what will be there? Source IP address will be, what will be source IP address? What will be source IP address? 197.08.100. This is the source this IP is, address. This is one. 199. 199, right? 199. Source IP address means your address from where you are sending the letter. 
you also mention your address, right? Your address will be source address. You send your address. Where you want you want you are sending the letter. You are you are sending letter to your friend. So your friend address will be destination address. So Facebook address will be destination address. Facebook IP address. So destination IP address will be there on the header. Source port number, right? Your your name, your name will be there. So you mention your name, so you source port number and destination at destination name, your, your friend name. Your friend name you also mention. Similarly, destination port number. So you understand why. So you understand you mention address, right? Uh, let's say you mention uh, uh, the address, friend address is uh, Rade Kunj, uh, 29th, uh, uh, 29th Main, uh, 9th Cross, Bangalore, at Sar layout, Bangalore. So you mentioned the home address, right? Why do you want, why you are asking the name? Why you are mentioning the name on the address? Can you tell me why you are writing the name? You already mentioned the address, exact address. Why you are writing the ad name on the address, on the envelope? So any people do not get the Multiple people stay in the home. Multiple people are staying in the home, right? So that it will reach to the exact person. particular person we can identify right you got the right thing similarly you know what similarly on the server also when you mention destination address destination ip address destination ip address, ip address of the facebook right but you have to mention the packet destination port also port also source port will be your machine port and destination port. You mentioned the IP address, but you have to mention the port number also for Facebook. What is the meaning of port number? You know what will happen? Whenever we deploy any website or any application, first thing is IP address of the server. For example, this is the IP address 199.0.2.100. We have to allocate. For example, in this server, I have deployed facebook.com. So Facebook IP address will be this IP address of the server. But I have to allocate a port number only also. Get it, man? Port number, like you have to allocate, you have five people at your home, right? So we, uh, once you born, one name has been, you know, named, uh, assigned to you, right? So that you can identify, you will have your own identity. Similarly, every computer, how many port number total? Anybody? total every digital devices are having total 65535 port number out of this any one port number you have to map with your application so that people can reach to this particular IP address and can send the packet, can access the application to particular port number. For example, if they want to access Facebook, but Facebook, they will reach to the uh, server, right? But in the Facebook, they are having multiple applications they may have. The Facebook is accessible on which port number? Right? Maybe in this server, you may have multiple applications. Right? So how you will come to know Facebook, which is Facebook? Right? So you have to allocate a port number. So when the traffic will come on particular port number, right? It will understand it's, it's a request is for Facebook. Right? Like letter comes with your name. Your name is Vidhi. So they will your home people will come to know, okay, this letter is for Vidhi. So let me give it to the Vidhi. Similarly, once the packet will come to this particular IP address on particular port number 443, your server will come to know, okay, this packet is for Facebook. So let me send to the Facebook. So whenever you install any application on the server, you have to map that application with the respective port number also. Understand? Yes. Clear? So, so, 
Uh, so this port number, so automatic, so port number will be here. Source port, source port number can be anything. Source port number always it take randomly, randomly port number because source port number does not matter. So you see, whenever you're sending a letter, right? Letter came from Bangalore. Who has sent? Sandeep sent, Sunil sent, or with his sent does not matter, right? Important is your address. Bank it came from Mumbai, right? So your source IP matters, but your name does not matter. Similarly, source port does not matter. Your address matter, means source IP matters. But destination port matters, destination address matters, right? Which identify to whom it has, has to send, means destination port matters. So that on the server, which application uh, the packet has to be sent, right? Uh, we can identify based on the port number. Right, so the particular app, uh, server have 65,535 port number. Any port number you have to, you know, allocate to your server out of, uh, you know, uh, uh, this this many. So you know what happens. So this, so once you send the packet, this source IP, destination IP, source port, destination port will be there in the packet. But you know, whenever you access facebook.com, so do you enter the port number? No. No. See, whenever you access facebook.com, first of all, you don't need to enter the IP address. First of all, things. I explained you in the video how it gets the IP address. First of all, you don't need to enter the IP address, right? There's a concept called a DNS. Once you watch that video, some people who are completely, they might be feeling that what I'm explaining right now, but you watch that video, you'll get to know everything. So uh, there is a server called a DNS server. You understand the communication happening only based on the IP address. So, but you don't need to enter the IP address uh, because IP address is difficult to remember. So that's the reason you are not entering the IP address instead of that you're entering facebook.com directly because you can't remember the IP address. Otherwise, the final communication is happening based on the IP address only. But IP numbers are difficult to remember. That's the reason we enter facebook.com. So there is a server called a DNS server. So every ISP will have the server called a DNS server. So once you access facebook.com, your browser will send the request to DNS server and will ask what is the IP address facebook.com. And then it will take the IP address and then it will send the request to the uh, you know, Facebook uh, server on particular IP address, but you get the IP address, but you don't enter the port number also 443, right? Yes or no? You don't even enter the port number also 443, right? So what happens is you enter HTTPS. You enter, what is the port number you enter? You enter HTTPS, right? HTTPS colon double slash HTTPS, right? Yes. You so, enter HTTPS, right? HTTP or HTTP? <laughs> Guys, getting my point, everybody? Yes, yes. Anybody yes. Anybody here who, uh, which is going out of uh, context? Anybody here? Anybody has, uh, I mean, who are not understanding? Anybody out of 88 people? Understanding. Everybody, right? Yes, I'm understanding. Okay, okay. So good, good, good. Okay. So what I'm saying is, uh, in browser you are not entering port number ideally, right? Why? Because see, you understand when you deploy any application, you have to mention the port number. New baby born, you have to name right so that people can identify with his name. Similarly, whenever on the server you deploy. You have to configure IP address, means your address, your home address, right? As well as you have to map particular application with the port number. Now, whenever your application you deploy, what port number you have should configure? So you have to configure some port number, map some port number, right? So you have to make sure I now have reserved some port numbers, right? So make sure that whenever you are deploying some website, right? Some website, for example, simexpert.com. In simexpert.com, if I'm deploying, what port number I should map with simexpert.com? I should map with what port number? HTTPS. Which port number? 80 or 443. 
ideally it should be 443 why it should be 443 why i cannot map it uh, 6023 Because why is, this is this port 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 provider different hmm? different service this 60 yeah. there are well known ports uh, which are used for particular services uh, well known port numbers we use for a uh, particular service also, such as uh, http dns uh, ntp http 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 like that sir. what 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 you are saying i didn't get it uh, such uh, well known port numbers such as uh, uh, http ntp smtp ntp mm -hmm. so what no sir for every you know services they already assigned the port numbers port. for fixed communication but can't i use can't i use 6023 no sir they were already fixed it to 443 so we can't use it if i use it what will happen there won't be any communication happens. There mm -hmm. won't be any communication you know, connection established. There won't be any connection. No, you can use, but other people will not be knowing that your uh, application is hosted on this port. Right. Right. That's the correct answer. What will happen is, see, Aina has made some port well known, right? That your browser, your machines will understand that these web applications, which are HTTPS enabled, Hypertext transfer protocol. The default port number is 443. Whenever you enter in the browser, HTTPS and access the website, for example, simexpert.com. Simexpert.com. Whenever you enter on the browser, HTTPS, browser will understand this is HTTPS and simexpert.com. It will route the traffic on the port number. Which port number? Uh, 443, 443, sir. 443, right? Browser will understand it's the HTTPS traffic and HTTPS default port number is HTTPS port number 443. Whenever you enter SimExpert with uh, with HTTP, it will route the traffic port number. Sir, that is 80, sir. 80, sir. 80, right? So if I deploy my website on port number 6068, and type https colon simexpert.com will my website accessible no sir no mm -hmm. because uh, uh, people do not know that my port number is 6080 right people will not be able to access my website right that's oh, the reason yeah. http yeah. should be 443 yeah. http should be should be Right, and there are so many services. My, my, yeah. uh, so lot of noise from your end. Uh, whenever you turn on, ask question, and then keep your mic and mute. Yeah, if I know your port number instead of typing HTTP, if I type, uh, type six zero eight zero, then I can access your website. If it is HTTPS enabled, for example, HTTPS enabled in HTTPS, you can change the port number also. HTTP default port number is 403, right? You can change. Then what you can type is, then you have to type the port number after colon. For example, you have enabled HTTPS, then type HTTPS, then colon, simexpert.com, then colon port number 6080. Get it? Then you'll be able to access the website. If but I know can, port number, I can access then it. You can add, then you can do it. But, okay, manually but I type. in the public network, you can't communicate separately port number, right? In internal network, you can do that. You have some sort of people, internal team, you can communicate over port number this one, right? But in the public domain, you can't communicate this information to people. That's the reason we keep it defaulted 403. Understand? Yes or no? So yeah, okay. there, are, there are some uh, default well-known port number that so we should stick with default port number only. We should not use different port number. Otherwise, our service cannot be used by, the, by the specific set of people, right? So those ports we call as well-known port number. Well-known port number. Well-known port number. Port number, right? Like for HTTPS, port number 403, for HTTP, port number 80, right? So that will be homework for you. What is the port number of a DNS? 
There are so many, so, uh, so keep the homework as well-known port number, right? These are, some of the port number are these, but keep the homework well-known port numbers. So most frequently asked question, so well-known port number. So these are the port number we should not change in the public domain, right? Because if I'm sending the email, SMTP means email port number, right? If I change the port number, mail will not be delivered, right? Sir, sir, hmm. sir these port number are fixed. Fixed port number, right. If you change it, it will work, but in public network, we will not come to know. In the public network, okay. we should use this port number. So many applications okay. are configured to use this port number. Okay. Default. So these port are well-known port number. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sulab, sir, uh, the, uh, what is this Kerberos and POP3? Kerberos is authentication protocol. Okay. And it is pop like single sign-on, right? POP3 is 110, 110, 118, 110. And uh, what about POP3? It's for email authentic, email protocol, post office protocol, post office. You go through in detail. Okay. POP3 IMAP. It's for email communication. SFTP is not 72. 70, 70, 22 likha hai wo. It's 22. SFTP and SSH both are 22. Oh, writing mein aisa ho gaya, mein. So, uh, so what I was saying, uh, digital network communication happens in the form of packets, right? Packet is having two parts, header and data. Uh, uh, let me finish this topic. Uh, header and data, right? Uh, header and what? Data. Data. So what happens is data. Uh, 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 header uh, means uh, control information. That means source IP address, destination IP address, source port, destination port, and uh, uh, and so on, while data will actually contain, will actually contain your data, what you what you are transferring, or what what you want to receive, what you want to receive, it may contain some commands. What you want to receive, for example, uh, you you click somewhere, you you click on your profile, right? You click on profile, you you log in on Facebook, and you click on my profile. So my profile, once you click, right? So it's a, some command, right? Some database command which you are requesting so it will uh, in the data in the data packet it will have some command which you are requesting while on the header uh, your source ip address your source port number destination ip address and destination port number it will have right so uh, uh, in the digital communication communication happen in the form of packets which will uh, in form of two parts data and header so who will carry uh, this packet who will carry this packet uh in the uh so uh, in the digital communication who will carry this packet transfer, transfer transport protocols in the uh any uh, when you're sending the letter who will carry your letter from mumbai to bangalore postman 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 right how how he will carry through what medium so transport right transport. Road, transportation transport flight transport medium right Yes or no? Similarly, your uh, packet also will be carried in the communication by the transport protocol. 
So what are the transport protocol? TCP and UDP. TCP and TCP and UDP. UDP. TCP and UDP. TCP and UDP. There are two transport protocol, right? Yes. <laughs> TCP and UDP. There are two transport protocol, uh, which carries the data from source to destination. Understand? Uh, TCP and UDP. The video. Uh, what is TCP and UDP, and what is uh, 3V handshake in uh, TCP? Uh, what is 3V TCP 3V? That's a homework for you. I'll write the homework. What is TCP and UDP? What is the difference between TCP and UDP? And what is TCP 3V handshake? What is TCP and UDP? Yes, so write like this only. On the video itself, I have explained. All videos we will get in Sim Expert or Sulab. Uh, uh, one moment. Uh, this video is in Sim Expert channel. TC video uh, TCP. TCP. Uh, where TC video? Uh, this one, this one, this one. Okay, some of the old videos when we have the word whiteboard. TC video P. This is the video. Does you guys are having, do you guys are having two hours a day uh, anytime so you can finish it? Can you finish those uh, uh, nine sessions this week? Is it possible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It will. Splunk. We can start a Splunk. No, which nine yes, sessions? That would be great. If you can saw, that, sir. Uh, sir, can you post that nine videos in WhatsApp group so we can uh, see, check Sulab which Sulab Misra. Nine. Sulab Misra. Uh, see, anyways, topic I have, I'm covering here, right? I have explained you in very, a very good way and slowly, slowly. See? Yes, basically, sir, like being uh, like a new to this, like for all these topics, like it is getting mixed, to be honest. So like all the topics are new. So in this playlist, like you have uh, explained in depth, right? Right, so, right. So Better you watch this. That is what I'm saying. Better you watch this. Yes. So for better. today, like there are so many things, not sure. Like, as I told you, like being a beginner or everything. So uh, like these things are coming for the very first time. So. So you better you watch this, uh, this week. I'll be taking the votes and I'll be taking your question uh, by next week. So nine days session, this is. So you have time, right? If you can watch it, it depends. Once you watch it, then only I'll take it further. Can okay, you please have, share the link in WhatsApp? I'm I'm sharing this playlist. Okay. So day is the Sir, one already and a half. Shared. I have already shared, okay. but I, again I am sharing with you if anybody has joined. You can see this uh one and a half hour, one and a half hour session. So uh, you can see um these all are basic classes, right? Basic right. class, only networking you can see, only networking classes. Which all you did today, the ah. basic one, right? Uh, today I made it a little faster. But uh, slowly, slowly, I have explained you very slowly, slowly. Okay, very slowly, slowly. So if you watch this, this will be better even. So instead of okay. taking here, so better you watch this. Okay, so uh, you start watching it, that will be better. So so we can put more time on our Splunk class, which will be fruitful for you. That is what I said. So love, just uh, one quick question. I completed that uh, couple of videos, total 18 hours. I kind of like played back like 1.5 speed and I finished it in a couple of days. Now, do I have to go through your channel and watch these two or did the same thing no. or? No, 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 no. See, this is for someone who have not watched it. Both are Oh, okay, okay. All right, because I, I watched it like in 1.5 speed in like a couple of days, uh, like all 18 hours, right? So I don't have to watch it back. This is for someone who does not have knowledge. All right, okay. 
see this is this basic question this is basic for uh, this is basic networking security right because the yeah yeah I, I i didn't know anything about network but by watching your couple of videos that is total of 18 hours i i learned a lot that's why the first day i i actually urge everyone to watch it so that you don't have to go through the basic next class we can directly jump into splunk right that is what i'm saying uh, it will save Thank our you. time your time and i can put that time to our splunk class so uh, that is what i'm saying so you will also not feel like some people. So this is the very basic classes, uh, step by step. I understand how many we have ten, but one is introduction class. I think eight class here. One is introduction class, and another is question answer session. I think I have taken. So I think eight classes. So that if you can cover, then uh, last class is same class. Last class ten days class. I think ten days class I will take again here. Ten days, tenth days class. What is same? I have explained you. Again, I will take it here, right? But still, you watch it. It will revision for you. Okay, I will explain you in very good way. So, I am sharing the session here. So, you can note down also. It is very good. Uh, I am sharing here. Last batch uh, session. Last batch only. Last batch. Weekdays batch. Last batch, weekday session. Where is our playlist? Uh, playlist uh, option sharing option uh, three dots where three dot share option copy image mm -hmm. you can copy the url in the okay. url bar uh, here save mm -hmm. it url at url youtube.com right away copy link address Link address. I think huh, here, share, share. It's a video here. The video here. Video is a playlist. Oh. No, sir. Go back. Go back. And copy that to URL, which is and click on URL click partner. on the view full playlist, sir. Sir, uh, right click on that playlist and uh, copy link address. No, no, sir. No. Below, uh, below at, below at the, the cyber security training, training course. Training course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, below that, click the view yeah. playlist. Uh, 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 right. Yeah. From there, you can share. Uh, ah, share, right. Playlist. Better you cover it now. Better you watch it from now only. Yeah, nah? Instead of covering again in a faster way, does not make any sense. And again, you rewatch it. Better you cover it from now only. That is better, right? I will take it up next week and I will take do the voting also every day how many you have covered and you do the votings okay you will take it out two hours every day minimum everybody will be able to do that right two hours yeah. yes sure sure two hours every day just two hours yes yes okay we'll do the votings who will be doing it faster every day I'll be doing the poll Okay, so you can take the take, take it. We can wind up for the day. Uh, you can utilize today today's day, rest of the class day, and watching it. Last question, like you told, the IP address will be unique, and for Facebook, we are using one IP address, right? Right, static IP address. Static IP. So for Facebook, that IP is fixed. Right. If I want to communicate with Facebook, means I can go through IP only, right? Why port number? You told IP address will be unique again. IP we have to go. IP address bus. Port number also because in particular server there might be multiple port numbers, multiple multiple applications, right? So we have to map with particular port number only. So you are telling in one IP address, so many applications will be hosted. Right. So two... Can be hosted, can be hosted. In particular home there might be multiple people, right? The name is required. Similarly, one computer, one server there can be multiple applications with one IP. It is it may find it may be okay that only one application is there, but there can be multiple applications. That's the reason. Multiple ports are there. You must you must have to map with the port. Okay, okay. Even there is one application, still you have to map with the port. Okay, okay. 
So whenever you are deploying any application, you must have to map with the port. IP address of the server will be one only, can be one only, but you have to map with the port. Okay. Can you mind? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I have shared you uh, this one. You, you guys start watching it. I will take a poll tomorrow onwards. Okay, instead of covering yes, sir. again, it's better to watch it. Yes. Hello, sir. I guess. Yes, sir. Sir, I watched these videos like uh, it was so crystal clear. Mm. Uh, from next week, uh, can you explain these way? Uh, it, like brief even me. school. Any question you have, you can ask the question. And I'll brief you. A whole scenario I will brief once. Okay, okay. Whatever covered in last 10 days, I'll do the summary. Uh, not this, sir. Like uh, uh, from next week, whatever the classes you say, can you explain this way? I already listened these classes in the playlist. Mm -hmm. uh, those are so clear, clear. So I want that uh, of explanation from you. From next week, whatever the Splunk you are telling. Uh -huh. Can you explain it so clearly, like uh, whatever the playlist you have mentioned perfectly? Even school guy can understand that way. I am not understanding what you are saying. No, no, no. He is telling Splunk you to go. You will be explaining next week, right? Uh, if you Unlike. guys cover it, uh, we'll start with yeah, this. You you ex it. explained in Sulab YouTube channel like that. You you please explain like that. He is asking. Ah, uh -huh, right. Same way only. Same way like that. You have to explain it. Seems. Ah, uh -huh, same way only. Slowly, slowly. So slowly, slowly, sir. Please. Uh, slowly, slowly only. How we have explained in YouTube, right? Same way only. I am going to explain this basic session. I made it faster. Yeah, basic will be very slowly, slowly only. We have the same teacher. Don't worry. Very slowly, slowly. Yes. How as of today's class, like being a beginner, it was like really fast and so fast many topics. So yeah. which is why, you like, it's YouTube, right? You watch YouTube. It will be so slowly, slowly. And do you provide any notes? So like when we register, like let's say you will be providing. You'll get the notes them. also. I'll share the okay. basic networking notes for now. Okay. Thank you. Okay, the class, how you watch in YouTube, right? The class will get that much slowly. I made it faster today because it kind of summary class I made it to make it faster. So that I have a question before you go. Hmm, what? I have a question before you go. Yeah. According to my knowledge, what I have learned that Cisco server is a server that tracks logs for all the devices. And then you can make a chart, everything, and then you can do a network monitoring. The Splunk and the CM is the same thing that you have to watch all the logs and everything. Is it the same thing? Or? Right. right, right. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll cover it in, in further classes. You'll oh, have no yeah. But so similar may thing, I leave yeah? the session now? Hmm? What? Uh, may I leave the session for today? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, so, like, I okay. have a... you can uh, start covering the playlist that I have shared. With you. Yes, yes, exactly. Exactly. Next, next week, 8 30 only, right? Timings. Same time. Same time. Same time. Same time. So, like, I have a question. So, actually, uh, if it is a technical session, like, uh, if it is on Splunk, so uh, we'll be paying 100% attendance. Attendance. Uh, sometimes, uh, some key points, if we miss, uh, like, if you can share the uh, recordings to. No, no, no. He have to write the home. I will ask you to write important thing. Recording will not be shared in case you miss anything, any class, any day, then only recording is shared. You have to ping me personally. Whatever important, I will ask you to write. Here, I have not asked you to write today because today was kind of summary session. I was faster. A Splunk will be taking slowly, slowly only. Sir, I have a question. You got enough time. You don't need to worry about that. I took it very fast today. We'll be taking this one very, very slow. Sir, I have a question. I want to know the difference between sim and soul. Can you please explain? That? Explaining in further session. I have not explained the sim as of now, right? No need to jump first. No need to jump. What is sim right now? People do not know. For the session, okay. we'll realize. Once we talk about sim, then I'll explain you what is soul. Uh, sir, I have one, I have one question. Automation sir. Automation activities, yes. Sir, I have one question. Uh, what is uh, IPS and uh, IDS, sir? I, I know, sir. I, IPS means uh, uh, Internet uh, Prevention System. I have explained you. You watch those sessions. I have explained you what is IPS and IDS. It's part of those okay. sessions. I have explained okay, you. All security devices, body, firewall, IPS, IDS, uh, email gateway, proxy, antivirus, 
I will explain you on those session. Note send all email or WhatsApp for in this chat. What? Chat I have just sent you right. Notes, notes. You told you okay. share notes. Networking notes. Note, huh? I am sending you. I am sending you the uh, notes, basic networking notes. Okay. WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp group. You are the part of, right? WhatsApp group. Yes. I will be sending in the WhatsApp. Okay, so I'll be. No, so I have a question. Mm, yes. Uh, uh, do you because you, uh, do you send in case someone misses the class because of the time difference because it's really tough for me because I'm in the UK. I have to wake up very early. If anybody has any problem, right? Any miss any class, you ping me personally, right? Not in the group. Anybody uh, miss any class, not able to join any class, you have to ping me personally. Okay, okay, all right, thank you. Okay, so we'll see you on Saturday. We'll do the, I will take out the poll. We'll see how fast you cover. Okay, sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.